I'm afraid. I'm afraid to Tell ask. Tell us about John. I'm afraid to ask. Tell us. About what's, what's wrong with me? <laughs> if you are uh, a therapist or you work in therapy, I would love to get your feedback on the show, especially if you listen to the show for a long time. You probably know things about us that we just don't even realize. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. And the reason I bring this up is that uh, we all have Thanks our own nervous. podcast. Well, yeah, and so uh, I do a podcast with my, our friend Sauce, who used to work on the show, a uh, fellow Gemini with Rose. She's yeah. now in Atlanta. But Sauce had mentioned on our podcast uh, a day ago that I was brought up, she brought me up in therapy because like we're you know, like best friends and like I can be uh, difficult to work with sometimes. And her therapist, like not rationale, but like reasoning for why I am the way that I am sometimes, I was like, Makes sense. Huh, this is what the therapist said. Like, there's just been like conflict, and I use you as an example. And she said, and I said, we're just not seeing eye to eye. And she said, yeah, because he's he's been like that probably for years now because of how everyone keeps being like, you know, you're the problem, you're wrong, mm. blah, 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 but you keep getting results. So that's why you are the way you are. And like when I when I heard that, I was like, is this what Did it like, like click a little bit? Like, I think so. Ah, yeah. I that think that makes sense. Yeah. So um let me ask you first, Rose. Do you think that makes sense for me? Absolutely. In what way? Um, in every way, I feel like there have been roadblocks for you and you're just like, well, because like we talked about earlier, you were very motivated by people telling you that you can't do something. Mm. You're like, all right, well, I'm going to do it even harder then until you see the results you want. Yeah. I mean, I think I got used to there always being BS. And so I just always assume there's going to be BS. So that's kind of, I guess the, I'm like the, what's the dinosaur with the, the hard head, the dinosaur in Jurassic Park that runs into like walls? The, I don't know what the hell it's called. Something tops. But like Triceratops. That, but no, but like the little guy with like a helmet basically on his head. Like oh, that, I yeah, feel like I that, know. I guess that I've always, now that made me realize like that's me, I guess, because I feel like I have to like always be going 100 miles per hour. It won't work. So when, when Saw oh, said I that. I can't say that name. Okay, well, no, <laughs> but that's fine. a long, it starts with a P and it ends with a Saurus and that's all it, I can I, say. I'm a Piasaurus. And, uh, Pachycephalosaurus. Oh, Pachys. Yes. Yes, yes, yeah. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. So I was like, that, I, I was like, that's oh, how you say it. I guess that's me. I want to bring on uh, Julie. Good morning. Good morning. So you are a therapist. I am a therapist. I'm working on a doctorate in clinical psych. So oh. I'm not licensed. But I'm working towards a doctorate. Okay. But, What's okay. wrong with us? Yeah. So <laughs> let, let's go. Uh, if you had to give like, uh, you know, uh, off the cuff um, opinions of us, let's start with Rose. What's wrong oh, with Rose? Gosh. I think it comes down to deep-rooted, probably, insecurity, but she has a good support system that mm. allows her to have her ego strength lended to her, which allows her to function pretty well. So really nothing, because that's a normal thing. If she didn't have those supports, she would probably look a lot different right now, though. Girl. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh, yes. Clint always tells me, like, I tell him things from, like, my past, and he's like, I don't know how you turned out the way you did. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I just have good people, I guess. Julie, what about Eric? Wow. Oh, boy, he's a book. Um, <laughs> yeah, I get. I mean, he's got that, what he calls machismo, really what it comes down to is, like, almost toxic masculinity, but, again, it comes down to, I think, insecurity and in that mm. he has to, has to present I, as over the top yes. to compensate for feeling under. That is, I agree okay. with that 100%, okay? Uh, I love talking about people when they're not here, so let's throw Riley under the bus, Julie. What's oh wrong? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> What's wrong with okay, Riley? Okay, well, in general, Riley is a, one of the strongest women I think I've ever heard. Yes. So it's hard to kind of say anything about that. Again, I think it's similar to Rose, whereas, like, whatever it is going on with her, she has the support system that allows her to compensate. So it's really not worth putting all the effort into, like, describing all the things wrong because she spent so long building things up to get her to a place where she's good. Mm. So I would hate to we're under the bus and undo all of that. Oh work. no, for sure. I'm just, I'm just being, uh, being IJ. But I, <laughs> yeah, that, that's so true. like that all, um, those, all those make perfect sense. I'm afraid, I'm afraid. To Tell ask, us about John. I'm afraid to ask Tell Julie us. about what's, what's wrong with me. Well, do you know that humor is a defense mechanism? I did not know that. I did. Yeah, there you go. Wait. So what are you saying? <laughs> I mean, do you, uh, humor is your defense mechanism. Okay, so that's that's fine. That's not bad, right? <laughs> Eric's is far worse. Eric, Eric's is probably the worst. Yeah. So I, I'm. So you would if you had a list like most normal, like I got it most locked up. Is what we're saying. 
it's not what I said, but it's interesting you say that. Tell me more about why you think that. I just feel like you're just no. I, <laughs> I, I just feel like so you, there was a bunch of issues, not issues, but uh, this things listed at bullet points. And with your boy, it's like he's funny, and that was like essentially it. But that's not what she said, though. She says it's a defense mechanism. Julie, would you say I'm using humor as a defense mechanism right now? <laughs> yes. I think you're deflecting, but yeah, hmm. that too. Hmm. So. Th- how do you feel about that? How, you want know what? I, I I have a lot of feelings about this, Julie. I just I just think that I'm just misunderstood. I really do. It could be. It could be. But think about how it is you're presenting yourself and how maybe you're presenting yourself in a way that others are perceiving you and how that's impacting mm. why you're what you're feeling. But Julie, what if others are just wrong though? And and what if they're <laughs> <laughs> then your life is going to be really frustrating. And I, yeah. you know, that's something you're going to have to make a decision you want to work through or not. But, mm. you know, there is. This has been, Julie, do we Venmo Dang. you or do, is this, this covered is by really our, awesome. our our uh, insurance? Or how does this work? This is pro bono. You're welcome. Oh, oh perfect. My gosh. We you're love, the best. We love you too. Uh, Julie, th- can I put you in hold? We're going to send you some coffee at least, okay? Sure. Okay, hold on one second. I, well. She hit me like that was uh, uh, right on the head, right on the nail. The, on the money? She, I don't know well, what the saying is, no, but no right hitting, on the money. No hitting allowed in the studio, yeah. Rose.